Okay, how's it everyone? So after my session I did over the weekend where I did that Instagram poll where I asked the people to decide on the venue um, and I ended up first at Gnu Valley Farm which is the venue that won the poll um, but you guys saw the state of that um, venue with the weeds and grass and everything um, but in the video I mentioned that I would go and look for the footage that I have um, for when I started fishing there so i found the footage um it's not the best quality it's a bit old some of it i had to download um from instagram as well so yeah um so excuse the quality of the footage but you can still pretty much see what you have to see so the first few clips are of when i started fishing there um the first two sessions i blanked completely still had to figure out what's going on and so on and how to fish it with the weed and yeah, eventually I started fishing in the margin um, and that's where my love for margin fishing started. So yeah, but in the first few clips, um, you can see a koi that swims by. Um, you can see my bait and everything in the, in the margin. And then with a catfish and this one specific koi coming in and circling and trying to eat and so on. So yeah, um, you can actually see one as well where it tried to take the hook bait, but yeah, then it got, it basically scared or whatever you may call it and it swam off um so when i started fishing there in the margins um i was still very very new to specimen angling and yeah i used a, a pop-up and a runny rig um but yeah soon after that i spoke to a few guys and so on and they advised me to change to a bottom bait also where my love for bottom baits came from um yeah but you can see in this videos in these clips um how clear the water is and that's the one thing that i love about canoe valley you can actually sit there and see how the carp takes takes your bait. So yeah, um, so in the first few clips, it's basically the fish just circling it. Um, and then watch them, watch these clips, and then I'll get back to you on the rest of the clips. As you can see, um, one of the reasons I kept on going back to Gnu Valley was after seeing what how this koi tried to take the bait and everything. So yeah, on my uh, I think it was on my third or fourth session that I went back. Um, I used the same tactics, but I changed from a pop up to a bottom bait uh, with a boilie, uh, just a single boilie, no snowman presentation or anything. Same th method, basically put the bait out with a scoop that I attached to my net pole, and yeah, um, so this. The next two are, they were basically the first two carp that I caught at Gnu Valley Farm on the same day, literally like half an hour out from each other. And which was awesome was with both of them, I could actually see them take my bait. I remember when that first carp took, I literally almost fell out of my chair. My sandals were everywhere. My wife had quite a laugh at me for rushing down to, to, get, my, to get to my rod and, and reel it in. So yeah, um, that's, this is the next two clips. Um, it's then from my first carp that I caught then, also then basically my first koi that I ever caught. So yeah, um, you can see this in the next few clips.
as you guys could see, um, a nice carp, a nice koi that I caught at New Valley then. Um, nice dark colors on that carp and then obviously the red koi. Both of them weighed in at just over 6 kgs. So the last part of the video is, um, it's only photos, but the thing that's amazing about it, it's the koi you saw in the beginning of the video where it kept on circling my bait. So this was, I think, months later, I went back to the venue and the exact same koi came in on that day. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of it taking uh, my bait or anything. Um, that's before I really started filming my sessions or anything. So yeah, but it, I was quite ecstatic, ecstatic with the fact that I caught um, that koi that started my whole um, obsession, if you can call it, with Canoe Valley. So yeah, um, these are the photos then. Um, it's also the end of the video then. So yeah, but if you ever want to visit Gnu Valley Farm, very nice venue, clear water, lots of weed and grass. It's always there. Um, I don't think those guys will be able to remove it completely. Um, yeah, but then also Gnu Valley Farm, there's rumors of some nice fish in there. I saw photos that guys sent me when I started fishing it um, with some really nice mirrors in it as well. But yeah, tricky venue, tricky with the grass. Um, yeah, so if you're not margin fishing and you're fishing in deeper areas, you're really going to have to know your stuff and have strong gear so that you can get a fish through all that um, weeds and grass and so on. So yeah, here's the photos of that cop or rather koi then that I caught. So yeah, and thanks for watching. Cheers.